Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to another video. Today we are going to solve another JavaScript problem that was asked in Uber's interview. As you can see on the screen, the problem statement read as we have to implement a throttler that executes an array of tasks. When the throttler is passed a number, only execute that number of tasks and pass the other task into the queue. So this problem is a variation of throttling function which I have already solved. You can watch the video to understand how throttling works. There are three different type of throttling functions that we, have, we can create and I have implemented all the three so I highly recommend watching that. Now after reading this problem statement you can see right there is a code structure given over here. So one is we have to collect the tasks and then we have to throttle them. Now for this problem, I'm not going to add this collecting of the task because this is very simple, right? You can create a method and you can have this variable where you can push the task. What our focus is we have to create this throttler that will execute the array of tasks or the number of tasks that is passed to that limit. So from this problem statement, what I can derive is we have to create a function that will accept an array, a number, and we have to throttle the task. So basically a delay will be there. Now the throttle task would have to go somewhere. So we'll have a callback function that will be called with the number of arrays at a time. The remaining will stay in the queue. So let's move back to the coding pan. Here, let me add a script tag. So inside the script, we are going to write the code for the throttling. Now, as the structure explains, right, we are going to create this throttle function. So we have to create this throttle function. This will accept an array, let's say seven, eight. After that, it will accept the limit, the number of tasks that has to be executed at a time, let's say two. Then there will be a callback function. So this callback function will be executed and here we can print the task. So at a time that has been pushed. So let's say we have limit of two. So this task will get two items from the array at a time and it will be printed. You can add any types of action over here or you can have any type of function and that you can pass over here. And after that we'll have delay. Let's say we have to execute the arrays after a delay of 2000 millisecond. So we are going to execute this throttle function on the click event. Let me add a button over here. The ID button and then here we will say click me and when we we'll click this button we are going to execute this throttle function. So for that I have to assign a event listener. Let me do that. Const button equals to document dot get element by id button and then we are going to add button dot add event listener click and after that we have to execute the function so basically we are going to execute this throttle function So you can wrap the logic in a variable and then pass it over here. I'm just keeping it as it is for the demo purpose. Now this throttle function, we have to implement it. So as you can see, the click event listener, right? It accepts a function after the event name. So this throttle function will return another function that will be executed when the click event is fired. So let's start implementing the throttle. So const throttle and here we are going to have the array, the limit, the callback and the delay. So these are the four things that we are accepting in the throttle function. Now I'm going to create a closure to return a function from this because we have to track the elements right. So at a time number of elements that are in the limit will be pushed to the callback and that too at a delay. 
so we are going to make use of the classic throttle implementation that will be you know uh, invoked at the leading time as well which is on the initial click and after uh, the next consecutive calls will be on the delay uh, be make sure that during the interviews you ask clarifying questions so interviewer could ask you to implement the trailing as well as the leading uh, uh, like you can see in the video that i have shared so uh, ask clarifying questions and after that only you start implementing the code so let's have the same parameters last the timer id to track the set timeout then this variable to track when was the last function run and then the queue so we are going to have a queue as well because the items at a time only uh, the items that are in limit will be pushed and remaining will stay in the queue that's why i have created this variable and i have spread the array and this will hold all the array elements in that now inside the return function here we are going to check if not last run that means this is the initial call then what we are going to do is const elements so we are going to splice or get the number of elements within the limit and then we are going to pass that to the callback because callback accepts the executed functions and after that we are going to update the variable with the current time so that we can determine when was the function executed last after that in the else condition the first thing we are going to do is if the function is invoked before time we are going to clear the timer so that's why we have created this timer id this timer id will be used to track the set timeout so if it has invoked before time we are going to clear the timer and then we are going to set the timer id and here we'll have set timeout function and then here we'll have the delay so now the delay it will be not the rank just the number what we are going to do is we are going to calculate the exact time so we want to make sure when the function was last run right after that only if the number of delays has passed then execute this function so we are just going to calculate the time and again here we are going to add an additional check so if date dot now minus last run is greater than or equal to delay so this is another check that we have just to make sure that we are executing the function only after the delay and then we'll copy whatever we have executed in the last run as it is so that's it that's how you will implement the throttle function a simple implementation now let's run this if i save you see the click me button is there if i click over here you will see that we should get one and two printed so it's there and if i'm clicking it the next elements come after the delay of two seconds and that too in a limit of two once we have reached the limit you see that we are getting the empty array that is being printed so let me clear this let me reload and execute this again see one and two three and four five and six and then seven and eight. no matter how many times i press the next function will be executed only after the delay of two seconds which is what we have passed over here so if i change the delay you'll see that the functions are printed at a delay of one second so it is getting printed very quick so this is how you can implement the throttle function it will execute the next function only after the given delay now once the function has been emptied you can wrap this logic inside a class or another function and there you can have the method push 
where you can push more elements into the array and then you can pass that further so that the next set of tasks can be picked for the throttling so i leave that up to you for example you can implement that and test it i hope you have learned something new today thank you for your time